Good morning, BookTube. This is Johnny. This is a Monday morning. It is June the 19th. It is 7.10 in the morning here in West Michigan. I'm just sitting here writing in my diary, reading William Perkins on Jude. And yeah, I, in Jude, I'm on verse 10. As I've said, there's only one chapter in Jude, and I'm on verse 10. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts, and those things that they corrupt themselves. He's describing false teachers that will be in the last days. Um, like I said, he's Jude and uh, First and Second Peter kind of have the same common themes. Uh, it says in Second Peter here in the New Testament, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So yeah, I'm sitting here reading the exposition on Jude in volume 4 of William Perkins, who was considered the father of the English Puritans. As I was reading this commentary on Perkins, I, I keep remembering that there is another Puritan commentary on the general epistle of Jude in Matin's complete works. Thomas Matin was one of the most uh, famous English Puritans, and you find in volume five of his complete works uh, a practical a practical commentary or an exposition with notes on the Epistle of Jude. Also in this volume is Meat Out of the Eater, England's Spiritual Languishing, Its Cause and Cure, Sermons at Morning Exercise. So this is volume five of the complete works of Thomas Matton. And I thought I would show you this morning the complete works of Thomas Matton. This is, uh, these are, this is volume one of Matton's works, which is the exposition on the Lord's Prayer a sermon on Christ's temptation and transfiguration, on redemption by Christ and his eternal existence. And then you have in volume two of Matin's complete works, several discourses tending to promote peace and holiness, 25, 20 sermons on important passages of scripture, scripture for farewell and funeral sermons, and I'm just giving you an example. I'm not going to go through every 22 volumes of what is in these 22 volumes of Matin's Complete Works. Volume 3, 18 sermons on the description, rise, growth, and fall of Antichrist, or and a practical exposition upon the 53rd chapter of Isaiah. Volume 4, you have a commentary on James, Epistle of James. It just goes on and on and on. These, right here, you have, this is uh, five volumes right here of Matin's works. And then you have these volumes of Matin's works. I got these Matin's works when I was in Bible college back in the late 70s, and I've been reading them uh, for the last 38 years. Here we go. These are... These are volumes 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 of Matin's works. And then you have volume 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 of Matin's works. These are bound. The first set I had of Matin's work, Matt, Thomas Matin's works was a paperback edition that Carol bought me when we were dating, when we, when we were in Bible college. She bought me the, uh, the 22 volumes of Thomas Matton's works, and it was a paperback edition. 
but there was this uh, deacon at uh, Dutch, a Dutch Calvinistic church who used to sell books out of his garage, and he had this set hardbound of Thomas Matton, and I bought him, and I sold my paperback set to a Puritan lover who lived in Louisiana, uh, Charleston, Louisiana, way back there when I, we were in Bible college. Uh, volume 22 of, has an index, so anything you want to look up, subjects you can look up and then it tells you what volume and what page. It also has index of text, so you can look up each text of the Bible and where Thomas Matton expounds that text in the Holy Bible. So yeah, you talk about a clunker, you talk about a clunker, you, Thomas Matton, you could read your whole entire life. And uh, yeah, some people have show in book two of these s series of fantasy you know, eight volumes of fantasy or, you know, 12 volumes of some murder mystery character or detective. But if you want a clunker, you know, here, read Thomas Matton. You can still buy Thomas Matton. You can buy Thomas Matton. Thomas Matton has a famous three volumes on Psalm 119 that you can buy separate. You can buy his commentaries separately from different publishers. So here's a more clunker. Here's this Thomas Matton. So yeah, I got all kinds of sets of Puritan works down in the lower level that I bought over the years. Like I said, I have a couple thousand Puritan reprints. I have the works of John Flavel, the works of Thomas Goodwin, uh, the practical works of Richard Baxter, uh, you know, the works of John Owen, Thomas Matton, William Bates, uh, th uh, Thomas Brooks, Thomas Watson, uh, T Jeremiah Burroughs, and Christopher Love, and Ezekiel Hopkins, and it just goes on and on. Isaac Ambrose, and like I said before, uh, for many, many years, I just read the English, well, I read reprints of the works of the 17th century English Puritans. And I also read books from the 18th century, like uh, Thomas Boston, the Erskines, Ralph and Ebenezer Erskine, Boston. These were uh, Scottish divines who were in the theological and spiritual tradition of the Puritans. So I thought, yeah, that's what I'm reading. I got out Thomas Matton on Jude. And that's in volume five of his complete works. So I just thought, since I was down in the lower level getting Jude out of Thomas Matton's works, I'd just show them to you. So I don't really have much to to say in this video besides showing you these works, complete works, 22 volumes, Thomas Matton. Like I said, I'm writing in my diary. I'm on page 545. It's a new day, a new week. I might go to thrift stores today. I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood just to hang around the house, read my books, should mow the lawn. Hey, life keeps going by. I hope you had a good weekend and that you have a new week and until next time, bye.